What's good, what's good, and welcome back to Investing with Jack. So we're gonna go over Origin Protocol, OGN, one of my favorite companies. Uh, I love what they're doing in the NFT space. So we're gonna go over um, the Twitter, some news as well, some pretty juicy news in my opinion, as well as the technical analysis um, for OGN and give some price predictions. So we're up 3% on the day. Um, and we're up 7% on the week, all right, guys? So we're sitting at a market cap of 554 million and a 24-hour volume of 111 million. Uh, OGN's a sleeper pick, in my opinion. Still hasn't really blown up uh, during this bull run. We're up 1,000%, um, which is nothing to complain about, but I think OGN is gonna, <laughs> let's just say I have a pretty big bag. It's one of my biggest, largest holdings. So let's pop over to the Twitter, guys. So. On uh, August, uh, sorry, April 27th, they're excited to announce the world-renowned Dual Bass Jackers uh, released six new crypto-themed tracks as NFTs on Origins. Pretty cool, guys. Uh, so the auction closed, but I quickly want to show you guys um, what they were offering here, right here. So th these are really cool NFTs. They got the, it looks like a shark or a whales and the Bass, bass Jackers trophy is pretty badass in my opinion. Um, so they have the reward tiers. It's really cool what they're offering. Um, if you if you buy if you were to, so for the platform tier, um, you get access to the naming of one track from the Welcome to the Future EP with feature credits. That's incredible, guys. That's so cool. An on stage experience enabling you to join Bass Jackers on stage while your custom named track is being played yo how badass is that you get to go on stage and they tell you that you're you're a part of the track like yo this is next level uh one-on-one -on -one track nft with your avatar incorporated holy shit avatar inclusion in the base jackers visual at their future shows what your visual your avatar is going to be shown during the show yo this is mind-blowing all six tracks from the welcome to the future ep wow guys so the gold tier backstage access um at a future base jacker show wow avatar inclusion wow wow so, so cool man oh so the track nfts wow this is amazing all right guys I'm, i'll let you guys go into this yourself pretty cool what they're doing I'm like a little kid at the candy store. So uh, if you don't know who bass jackers are, they are EDM duo, you know, rave music. <laughs> well, I used to be a pretty big raver uh, pre-COVID and in my early 20s. Uh, so I'll play this little video. I'm hoping I don't get a copyright claim because uh, it's probably their music. So it's pretty cool though. Welcome to the future. Welcome to the game. Welcome to the blocks. Running on the chain. So pretty, pretty cool, guys. Music festivals are a ton of fun. And the, the women at those things and their little outfits. Yo, know, if you haven't gone and you're in your 20s, uh, don't hate on it. Just go because it's a pretty cool experience. You know, you have to kind of get yourself going with a little. <laughs> but um, it's pretty sweet. So, all right, guys. So let's hop into the technical analysis. Um, if they give me a copyright claim, I'm, I'm probably not going to put that in the video. But hopefully they don't so um okay let's hop into the technical so uh unfortunately on the technicals it's looking a little bit bearish in my opinion um as we can see hot here uh we have our high and then we have our low and we're starting to create higher or sorry lower lows and lower highs uh, which is bearish but uh we can see here on the four hour as well we've broken under the 50 and the 20 ema quite a few times now we do have these nice uh candles here this green one so what we need to see guys is we close above a dollar 85 and we start breaking uh, trending upwards from a dollar 85 because if we lose these support lines on the four hour guys we're going to come back down here uh, to our level of support at about wow that's quite a far way down it's possible that we would fall down to about a dollar 42 our level of support here was at a dollar 39 because we're losing the emas but we are currently sitting above them so what i'd love to see 
um, is that we start to make higher highs and higher lows because it, it's descending a little bit as well as the volume here. We have descending volume as well as um, you can see if I pull it, where it's kind of descending this wedge a bit here. So um, hopefully we break above, but it, it's looking a little bit bearish, not going to lie, in my opinion. Um, if we lose these EMAs, well, we could definitely start uh, to come down and hopefully we find support. Um, but if we lose them, we could find support here, right here at about $1.71. Um, but we don't want to lose those EMAs on the four hour. So let's pop it over to the one day. Yeah, so hopefully, just let me get this out of the way. See how the 20 EMA is trying to come back underneath the candle. So we need to start breaking above $1.85 to allow the 20. Or else we might come down and find support here on the 50, which would be at about $1.67, probably about $1.70 by the time it were to happen. Uh, but we need to hold this support, guys, and we need to start uh, breaking above $1.85, as I've been saying, and start using that uh, 20 EMA, that yellow line, as support. So maybe I'll pull up the RSI and see what we have here on the RSI. The Relative Strength Index. So we're healthy, guys. We're really, really healthy on the RSI. Um, so what we're hoping is we don't trend downwards to where we were on the RSI at about 40 on the one day. Uh, but it's healthy on the RSI. So let's quickly pull up the one hour chart and um, see. let's see what I can see here. So yeah, we can see here on the one hour as well, like lower, lower highs and lower lows. And we're breaking under all the EMAs. Currently, we're sitting above them. So we need to, it's crucial that we hold support here at a dollar. 85 guys because if we break this support we're gonna we're gonna break down and we could come down to about a dollar 70 in this range here or break all the way down which we don't want to see back down to a dollar 40 uh, which is a strong bottom here we can see a bit of a double bottom um, we almost have a little bit of a head and shoulders pattern and here would be our neckline so we really need to break above a dollar 85 so you know tell your friends not financial advice and your family buy origin <laughs> i love what they're doing the nft space and i think they're going to be a juggernaut in the crypto game in years to come um, especially with how many collabs they're doing they just did one republic and now base jackers so Pretty cool, guys. So if we're able to break above a dollar eighty-five, use that support and trend onwards, um, then we can start hitting, start trending towards uh, two dollars and fourteen cents for Origin, and then uh, about two dollars and forty cents here um, for Origin, and then our key level would be right here the golden ratio if we get up to two dollars and sixty uh two dollars and sixty two cents that'd be a good sign that we're going to retrace back up to our high of three dollars and thirty nine cents here for uh for ogn all right so keep an eye on it guys keep an eye that we don't break below a dollar 85 um because we need to we need to hold this level of support and start creating higher highs and higher lows looking a little bit bearish honestly right now but hopefully that changes soon all right guys i love origin though i have a large bag i'm a big fan of what they're doing so <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one smash that like button subscribe turn on notifications if you're new follow me on instagram twitter Join the Discord, Patreon link in the bio, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hope you're well. Much love. Take care. Mm -hmm.